and take a deep breath and exhale as you close your eyes. Meditation is very is a very unique practice. It's one where you go very deep and very high at the same time. It's one where there's stillness yet movement. You can move on the outside and be still on the inside. You can be still on the, on the outside and move on the inside. It's very interesting because you get to choose how high or how deep you're ready to go. It's a very personal journey. No one can force you to go to great heights or to go to great depths. When you have a trainer and you're running, the trainer can be behind you with a stick or with a carrot, making you run harder. Your weightlifter making you lift more, pushing you. But when it comes to meditation, Only the essence of you can choose how deep or how high you will go. And out of all the practices, meditation actually requires the most courage, the most honesty, the most authenticity. Because you can fake meditation, you can just close your eyes, or you can go extraordinarily deep. You can just sit there, going over your, your last week's vacation in your head, or you can ascend so far beyond, when you think as, as far as your imagination can take you. and then go further and then go further and then go beyond but it takes courage deep sea diving as you descend In the beginning, it's a very nice experience. You go 20 meters. It's an awesome experience. You go 50 meters. Then there's pressure. The water pressure changes. The light changes. You go 60, 70 meters, everything changes. Now, what if you can go, you can choose to go as deep as you want to go? Most will stop because deeper shifts the experience. Deeper also goes to darker places. Deeper 
there's also different dangers. So to go deeper and deeper and deeper does take more courage, a lot of courage. It does take a lot of strength. It does take a lot of faith. Otherwise, there's a point to which you cannot go beyond. And that's human nature. As you ascend, flying up into the atmosphere, the view is beautiful. And as you get higher and higher, it expands more and more. And as you go higher and higher, the sense of the height leaves a feeling inside of your heart and soul. First it's awe, look at this. But at some point you start realizing how very high you are. And for many, for most, that's high enough. But as you go further, and you begin to leave the atmosphere, there's a completely different sense of reality, a different sense of aloneness, isolation, a different sense of pulling away from everything that you've known. For many, for most, fear begins to set in. And given the choice to go further, most would not take that choice. But as you went further and further, if you had the courage, the strength and the faith, Everything you know will become smaller and smaller and more distant and more distant to the point where it appears as a dot amongst billions of dots. For most, this would be terrifying. Any human on the planet, even just a hundred years ago, it would be in terror. Because we have an understanding of our solar system, our galaxy, it's a little easier for us to accept. But even then, as you keep ascending after a certain point you cannot see that dot that you've come from you get the feeling of being lost in space completely separated So in meditation, it is like going down into the depths and ascending high into space at the same time. This is the yin and the yang. Most people stop, they fall short. It becomes scary, that's understandable. But every time you go into meditation, the practices to ascend higher and to go deeper, to go beyond. So as you inhale and exhale with each and every breath you take, allow the body and the mind 
begin to feel. Feel more relaxed, more at ease, and more at peace than ever before. And the more we relax, the deeper and the easier your breath becomes. And the deeper and the easier your breath becomes, the more you can relax. And with each and every breath you take, allow your being to go deeper and to ascend higher. Allow your mind, heart and soul to empty and the essence of it to expand in all directions. Toss out any thoughts, let them go. How you see yourself, your self-image, let it go. Your mind holds on to your image. And because it holds on to your image, it's like a fist holding on to something. It is also being held on to. Let who you think you are go. Let the mind, let that go. Become formless. Expansive. Do not dive into the ocean. Become the ocean. Do not ascend into space. Become space. Free yourself completely. Go beyond your fears and thoughts. Allow your being, the essence of yourself, to be the very essence of consciousness, of love, of compassion. Allow the essence of your consciousness to be the very breath of God.
a few deep breaths, filling body and brain with oxygen and energy. And heart and soul with love and light. Bringing your expanded consciousness back to where you are, back to this vehicle called your body. So as in yin and yang, as in the lesser and the greater, you have the lesser you, which operates out of this physicality. The vehicle that you maintain and have built in this lifetime call your body. How you fashioned it, how you dress it, how you fuel it, how you take care of it. And also the character that you've created, the persona, to go with it. But then there's also the greater you, far beyond who you think you are, what you think you are, far beyond being tall or short, far beyond being male or female, far beyond anything you can feel or touch in the physical realm. There's the lesser you and the greater you. The greater you is the essence of your being that is the universe, that is the ocean, that is the breath of God. as you practice and go deeper into your meditation practices, the more you let go of the lesser you, the more you can embrace the greater you. As you practice your martial arts, as you ascend in your practices, you begin to go back and forth between lesser you and greater you, lesser you and greater you. And sometimes you'll do movements and it is thoughtless, effortless, and perfect. We can go completely through forms and not have a thought. Get from beginning to the end of the form like something else was controlling your body, like you weren't even there. The form was complete and perfect. Yet consciousness was clear. No thought of yourself. No thought of the form. This is the path of motion.